So many meals that you can get while you're out and about or just even in like regular cookbooks are really high in sugar and are going to cause those blood glucose spikes that make it so that you aren't going to be able to achieve your wellness goals and shift you into more of that fat storing mode. So today I'm going to be sharing another one of my fat burning and satiating meals that's amazing to use for intermittent fasting for your breakfast. And this recipe is actually a sneak peek into my brand new cookbook, Autumn's Nerdy Kitchen. So we're gonna be making that in today's video. All right guys, if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn, I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition and human performance. On my channel, I'm typically talking about the science back and holistic information that you can use in order to make yourself feel amazing again. And part of that is making sure that your meals, especially your breakfast and your first meal, is actually going to be serving your goals. So today we're going to be making my fat burning chia porridge with raspberry compote. Sounds so fancy, I know. But it's actually ridiculously simple. And you could even make this in advance for the entire week if you wanted to with just a few minutes. Now because this is a chia pudding base, it actually is going to be plant-based friendly. Also super high in fiber and the healthy fats as well as some protein too. I mean, that's what we're always talking about for one really key component for helping you to achieve your wellness goals is making sure that you're actually satiated. I'm really proud of the recipes that are within this. It came out of the a and peeps asking for more recipes that they could specifically use with the level up guide. So what's really unique about these recipes is that they also have a key letting you know which recipes are best for certain protocols within the guide. So for example, there's going to be some that are best for gut healing versus those that are better for advanced weight loss techniques. Or if you're an athlete, there's some for those as well. There's also modifications to help each of the recipes fit into the categories too. And this cookbook was designed for the level up guide in mind. So you can always dip your toe into the intermittent fasting bundle by first testing out some of the recipes here and then pairing it with your specific protocol from the level up guide in the complete intermittent fasting bundle. Now the cookbook is split up into break, fast, lunch, and dinner, which makes it very simple to understand when each of these should be eaten. And some of my favorite recipes include the huevos rancheros, which are amazing, the crunchy curry salad wrap, and then my all time favorite that I'm actually also making for dinner tonight, the chipotle cauli tacos. Oh my gosh. And today is the official release date for the cookbook. Granted, the AM peeps got a little sneak peek in yesterday who were in the AMP Facebook group. Now you can check out the link for the cookbook down below. But let's jump straight into making the chia porridge with the raspberry compote. And I have to say it like that because I feel like all fancy. <laughs> so the ingredients, like I mentioned, are very simple. This is a very easy recipe. And this recipe serves two, but you can always double it or cut it in half if you only want to serve one. And the first thing we're going to do is make the actual base. So the actual chia porridge or chia pudding. So this is about a quarter cup of chia seeds. I just spilled the chia seeds all over my computer. That can't be good. I'm gonna put that into this bowl. So like I said, we're making the chia pudding base. Fun fact, this bowl was actually my grandma's. So for the actual liquid base, we have two different ingredients here. First is coconut cream, which you can either get from, you know, the top of a coconut milk can, the hardened part at the top, or you can just buy it on its own in a separate can where they just sell the coconut cream itself. It's still a little warm here in LA, so my coconut cream is a little more liquidy. It's typically going to be the harder type of cream that's at the top. I'm gonna pour this in as well. So this is a half a cup of coconut cream and that's where you're going to get a lot of the satiating fats, not only from the chia seeds, but also from the coconut cream. Okay. And then also another half cup of coconut milk. So you could use, if you want to just keep it very simple and just use the canned coconut milk and use more of the actual liquid base, you could go about it that way too. But I have homemade coconut milk on hand. I'm just going to do it. And if you haven't heard me say it 10,000 times, make homemade coconut milk. It is so simple. Or this and right here. And a really great trick that you can use to just help increase the flavor of the chia pudding or the chia porridge is to just add, you know, a pinch of sea salt. That just helps to naturally boost the flavors. So that's all in my bowl and just stir this around. Make sure to break up the little clumps as well because you want this all to just be cohesive. You could even use a whisk or a fork for this. I try and limit the amount of dishes that I have to clean and I'm going to be using this rubber spatula in a second anyway. Now you'll want to let this sit depending on how hot it is outside at least 30 minutes. If it's more warm outside, then it'll take a little bit less time for this to form the porridge. But we're gonna set this aside and make the next part. So the actual compote. So that, really simple, that's completely done. Now for the compote, we're going to be using some raspberries. I love raspberries. These are frozen organic raspberries that I just got from Whole Foods. And this is a 10 ounce bag. And we're going to add this over to our our pan that we have right here, whole thing. Now to add a little bit of a different flavor, I'm also going to add in freshly chopped ginger. This is about a tablespoon. You don't have to add it if you're not a fan of ginger, but I think that the combination of raspberry and ginger is just really amazing. So I'm gonna add these in. And the last ingredient for the compote is just one lemon that I've juiced. So I'm just gonna add this in. 
I'm gonna put this on to like a low, medium low heat. And I just wanna flatten that out a bit, let it sit there and cook and just start to melt a bit and start to release the raspberry juices. Okay, so it's been about 10-ish minutes since I first put this in. It smells so good in here, but you can also see how much this has really melted and made sort of like a jammy type of consistency. What I'm gonna do is just lightly press down on these just to make it a little bit more broken down. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it just so it's like a little bit more broken down. Just be careful because you know this can stain very easily. So what I do is either wear a shirt that I don't care about, which I do actually care about the shirt, or you just like stand a little bit further away. And I'm gonna turn this off now and let it cool while we wait for the chia pudding. This recipe is really great, especially if you make it the night before, or at least the chia pudding part the night before so that you have it already done, you don't have to wait for it. And something cool to keep in mind with the compote, there's no sugars added to it. This is literally just the sugar that's within the raspberries itself, which you would have probably already used in a smoothie anyway. Okay, so the chia pudding has been sitting so you can see, I'm gonna get a different angle because I'm not gonna spill on my computer again. So you can see that it's much more thick. And in fact, the longer that you let it sit, the more thick that it'll get as well. So if you like it on the thicker side, then I would wait a little bit longer, but I'm going to get this poured up together. All right, so since this recipe does make two servings, I'm going to use about half of this and then I'm going to pour half of the compote on as well. Oh, probably isn't going to be as pretty as my initial picture when I really worked hard on making it pretty, <laughs> but man, it looks good. Mm. Oh my God. So the last main ingredient in here is a tablespoon of either almond butter, peanut butter, cashew butter, whatever butter you like. Okay, so I'm just gonna not very prettily drizzle this in. Yeah, the picture's way better. Because I really like cacao nibs, I'm also going to add that on. So the recipe doesn't officially call for cacao nibs, but I'm gonna add them on because I really love them. And that's it. And by the way, the whole recipe will be listed down in the description below so that you can just take it and go. Okay, so let's try this. What am I doing? That's like no cacao nibs. I need way more than that. Get a little bit of on butter, some of the counties. Oh my God. The raspberries and ginger, plus the cacao in there, which makes it taste like just regular chocolate and the chia seeds, great. Wow. In fact, if you even like warm breakfasts, I've had AM peeps who have actually heated up their chia pudding or chia porridge and had it warm and they said it's amazing. I've not personally tried it because I don't mind just eating it like this and I actually kind of like it, but that is another route that you can go about it where you just heat up the chia porridge and then add the toppings. Mm. So this is one of the recipes from Autumn's Nerdy Kitchen. There's a total of 40 recipes to help you achieve your wellness goal. You can pair it with a level up guide, eat some amazing food and feel awesome again. And remember, you can check out the link for the cookbook down in the description below. I mean, this is ridiculously easy to make, so satiating, blood glucose stabilizing, just all the things that we want in order to achieve wellness goals. So I'm gonna go <laughs> enjoy this, finish this up. Don't forget to check out all the other amazing recipes down in the link below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm.